Good morning. It is December 1st, the 338th day of the year, and we're reading um, Reflections from Live in Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. It's easy to get wrapped up in holiday expectations. Remember that love is on everyone's wish list. The verse today is Matthew 6, 19 through 21. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves tre treasures in heaven where moths and vermins do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6, 19 through 21. Here's how a Christmas list shifts over a person's life. When we're young, we make the list. When we're middle-aged, we fund the list. And when we're old, no one can figure out what should be on the list. I think for all of us, the first phase is the best. When you're a kid, you know exactly what you want for Christmas. You make different categories to show Santa which gifts are the priority and which ones he can cut if you need to get to the next house. Eventually, we graduate from the list making stage right around the time we fund Santa's list. But as we get older, we don't really value stuff on Christmas morning. Sure, it's fun to unwrap a present, but what we want is more availability, connection, and more love. As gifts decline in value, things like time together and family traditions become the real present. None of us wants to get to the finish line and realize all we're carrying is a bunch of stuff. That's all, that all goes to goodwill anyway. As Christmas approaches, don't get bogged down in the shopping list. Don't get lured by the advertisements saying you'll find happiness buying just one more thing or that there's a toy your kid has to have. Get weighted down by the impressive weight of love instead. That's the real door buster. Show the people around you what they mean to you. Give a lot of love and ask for nothing in return. That's a gift worth giving. It's on everyone's wish list. So what gifts of love can you put on your shopping list for the people in your life? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this will be a different celebration. So many have lost so much and have lost loved ones. Help us find ways to show our love when we can't be together. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Have a great day, everyone. Our conversation earlier.